Nandrolone, AKA DECA, the classic anabolic steroid that's been helping lifters pack on muscle, build strength, and soothe anky joints since your dad's bodybuilding days. First things first, what exactly is Nandrolone? Nandrolone is a modified testosterone molecule. Specifically, it is the first 19 nor steroid, meaning it's had a tiny structural tweak with big consequences. By removing a carbon atom at the 19th position, Nandrolone is uniquely myogenic. This change also makes it less androgenic, so think less acne, hair loss, and mood issues, but exponentially more anabolic, meaning more muscle growth and better recovery than its testosterone equivalent. Now here's a quick history lesson you probably didn't know. Nandrolone first hit the pharmaceutical market back in the early 1960s under the brand name Decadurabilin. Initially, doctors prescribed it to treat severe weight loss, anemia, muscle wasting conditions, osteoporosis, and even for recovery after traumatic injuries. But today, it's still legally prescribed in the US, mostly for patients dealing with chronic joint pain, muscle injuries, and severe cachexia with known low testosterone. In fact, it's currently the second most prescribed anabolic steroid in America, although admittedly, it's a distant second to testosterone itself. Now, DECA gained popularity for good reason. Not only does it steadily build muscle mass and strength, but it uniquely promotes joint comfort. It significantly boosts collagen synthesis, at least we think it does, and joint lubrication. So much so that I actually published a peer-reviewed paper discussing its therapeutic potential for managing joint pain. Check it out, Ron is gonna put it right here. Now let's talk about its shorter acting cousin, nandrolone phenylpropionate, or NPP. NPP is chemically identical to DECA, just with a shorter ester attached. This shorter ester means it hits quicker, clears your system faster, and leads to a drier, leaner look with less water retention. But the trade-off? Think more frequent injections, typically every other day, compared to DECA's more convenient once weekly dosing. Even though people should dose daily, but more on that later. DECA itself, with its longer ester, offers convenience and steady blood levels, but with slightly more water retention and potentially a puffier appearance. Also, both DECA and MPP can act as progestins, which means they can cause mood changes, libido fluctuations, and even gyno if you're not careful. And one more critical note, Neandrolone is known to severely suppress natural testosterone production, making post-cycle therapy absolutely mandatory. This isn't optional, it's essential. And users who want a pure DECA cycle with no testosterone proceed at your own risk. DECA DIC, which is the inability to achieve and maintain an erection with a pure DECA cycle, is a known phenomenon. Now, it gets better with appropriate testosterone supplementation or with stopping the DECA, but that still doesn't mean your Friday night is salvaged. Typical dosing for DECA ranges from 200 to 400 milligrams per week split into one or two injections. Side effects are manageable, provided you plan properly and respect its ability to aromatize. Bottom line, DECA is a tried and true anabolic steroid with unique therapeutic benefits, steady muscle gains, and significant joint relief. NPP offers the same muscle building and joint soothing benefits, but with quicker action, less water retention, and just more frequent injections. Both require careful planning, testosterone management, and proper PCT. That's Nandrolone. Classic muscle builder, joint-friendly therapy, legal with a prescription in the US, and rapidly growing in popularity for both injury recovery and wellness.